This is Vix. How are you? Okay. Uh, how's Joe? Please. He had a good night. The medication is helping. He seems much calmer than he was yesterday, which is what we'd hoped. Well, that's a relief. Do you want a coffee? Uh, no, not for me, thanks anyway. So you think you can help him then? Yeah, the drugs should help to keep him a bit more stable. Hopefully they'll prevent these extreme occurrences, eventually. So how long will he have to be in the pills for? Well, it should take about 10 days for them to have any noticeable effect. 10 days? Well, I was hoping to take him home today. Oh, don't worry. Dr. Halloway wants to speak with you and Joe this morning. He'll explain the long-term prognosis. Why don't you pop and see Joe on the ward and we'll come and get you soon. OK. Thanks. I don't like it in here. I don't want to go on. I know, but it's the best place for you at the moment. They're in here as well, you know. Who? You know, I'm them. They're using him over there. They're sending him messages on that thing about me. I've got to get away from him. Joe. Joe, can you remember what you were doing when you were found the other day? What on the arm? Um, on the motorway, you mean? What do you think about that now? Um, it was a bit daft, I suppose. Do you think you wanted to kill yourself? No, um, no. I think... I think I just wanted someone to come and find me. That's, so. I see. Can you remember anything else about that day? Like what? Anything. Something you saw or felt, perhaps? I was thinking about Karen. Karen? Yeah, my sister Karen. I was thinking about her. Why were you thinking about Karen? Well, it was, um... It was the cars, you see. I, I always think about her when, when, I, when I see a car, and well, there were lots of them, so... Well, I, was in, um, I was in her seat. What do you mean? The accident. How did you feel about that, Joe? How do you think I felt? I don't know, unless you tell me. Can you tell me? Yeah, I can tell you. Well? She shouldn't have been sitting in it. It should have been me. Right, Joe, thanks. We'll uh, wrap this session up for now, shall we? But uh, we'll need to talk again. What happens now? Well, I get out of here, I help. You don't have to go. In fact, it might be best if you stay here a day or two. I think there are things you need to work through, and we may be able to help you do that. No, no, Mum, I want to go. Please, I want to go. Do you mind if I have a chat with your mother? Well, why do you want to do that? Now, she may have some questions she wants to ask me. Oh, um, OK. Stuart will go back to the war with you, and uh, we'll see you soon, OK? So, what do you think? Is he really ill or what? It's probably a bit early to say, but as long as we found a medication that's helping him to relax, then we're on the right track. OK? OK. From what you've told me, and of course from the time I spent with Joe, I'd say that he's suffering from a psychotic depression, probably triggered by the guilt and trauma he's been feeling since Karen was killed. Psychotic? Yes, it's like a kind of clinical depression. Some people become so low, they lose touch with reality. And that's what's happened to Joe? Probably, yes. And that's because he's blaming himself for a death? There are no certainties, Lorraine, but I believe so. I've been beside myself for the past few months, worried to death about him. I'm going to discharge him into your care. <laughs> well, that's brilliant news. Yes, but you'll need help. So I'll arrange for the CPN to make a daily visit for the first week or so. I'll need to see him again as an outpatient after that, and you'll need to ensure that he doesn't miss taking his tablets. Well, will he be all right with them? After what happened on the motorway? Yeah, I really don't think that was a serious attempt at suicide. Just a way of 
attracting attention to himself. Do you think you can handle all this, Lorraine? I don't know. I'm not sure how to treat him. It's important that Joe feels in charge of his own recovery. He has to really want to get better. So make sure he takes his pills without him feeling you don't trust him. Be patient, answer any questions, don't keep anything from him. If you don't know, ask the CPN. Okay. It's going to be quite a challenge, Lorraine. Do you have any questions? What about the pills? What do they do? In the long term, they'll make him calmer, but it's important that you both understand that the tablets could cause lethargy and exhaustion. They could affect the muscles, causing spasms. But we can give you more tablets to help control that. I'll arrange with the pharmacy to have some made up for you to take away. Right. Look, it's early days, and only time will tell if we're right about this, but I'm hopeful. You've been brilliant, all of you. Thank you so much. You take care, Lorraine. And if he starts to worry you, or if you're not happy about something, ring us right away, OK? OK. Thank you. Come on, love, home. Keep the change, oh, thanks. Oh, thanks a lot, love. Let's come down, shall we? I'm sorry, I didn't know you were asleep. No, I, I was just dressed my eyes. I didn't get much sleep last night. How's Joe? Hard to say. Pleased he's home. He's in the bath. Will he be all right in there? Don't worry, I've removed all the sharp objects. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just been a trying sort of a day. He'll be fine. He's just got to be back. Well, fancy a cover. That's very sweet. That'd be nice. No problem. Did they treat him all right? Joe's very ill. They could see that. They were very considerate. Well, I should hope so. But he's all right now, isn't he? I mean, they wouldn't let him out otherwise. Well, they've given him drugs which have calmed him down, but it's going to be a long time before we can say he's better. To be honest, it's like a nightmare that you can't wake up from. I just don't recognise him half the time. I just look at him and... Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, hey, don't be. Look, if there's anything I can do for either of you, just let me know, yeah? Well, there is something. <laughs> Go on. That cup of tea? Yeah, sure. I tell you what, if you want, I'll help you put up a bed in your room for him. Yeah, that'd be great, thanks. No problem. He, um, can't have been above five the last time he slept in the same room as me. But right now, I don't care. I just don't want him out of my sight. Well, if there's anything I can do. You've, um, done enough already. Um, Grant was just helping me make a bed up for you. How was your bath? All right, yeah. How are you, Joe? Cleaning now about a bath. I was just saying to your mum, if there's anything you want. Want? Well, I don't know, do I? Why would I want anything? Joe? Look, Tiffany's in her own downstairs, so I'll, uh, I'll make it down and give her a hand. I'll see you later. Look, um, why don't you lie down? You must be shattered. Can't sleep in them. Can I sleep in your bed, please? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. You know, you used to do this when you were little. I used to come into the bedroom that you'd be hiding under the covers. What did the doctor say about me? Well, he thinks you've worried yourself so much about Karen, you've made yourself poorly. You're very depressed. And he said you've got to keep on taking your tablets, otherwise you're going to go on getting worse. The tablets make everything like it used to be, Mum. I hope so. Now shut your eyes, love, eh? Where's that gone, Mum? I don't know. It's just you and me, and I won't leave you. Now, I want you to keep on taking your tablets and get better. Things will be like they used to be, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> 